Very good afternoon. Uh, my name is Alan. I'm the founder CEO of Profile Print, a food ingredient search engine that is powered by our patented AI fingerprint technology. Founded in 2017, we are backed by international venture funds and some of the world's largest food ingredient conglomerates such as Louis Dreyfus, Olam Cinemas, and Superfina. These are some of the awards we received over the last few years, includes Cargill Award at Future Food Asia, National Innovation Challenge Winner, and Sweet Chemical Research Award. Traders have dominated the global food industry for centuries. Despite digitalization and new technology, the food supply chain continues to be inefficient and excessively overweight. We consumers are held ransom and farmers are price takers no matter how expensive commodities are today. Poverty continues to worsen. UNSDG progress has been slowed down or even reversed with the pandemic today. The problem is with little incentive for these big boys to change, the supply chain remains overweight and inefficient. The big boys, the traders control about 85% of the world ingredient trade. We are talking about onerous and inconsistent grading, highly dependent on humans, resulting in long search and match cycles, and we still relying on sending physical samples. As such, overheads are excessive, incurring cost of warehouse, freight, and manpower. Let's go back 20 years ago when search engine 1.0 was based on keywords, user king keywords that matches against website. We know how convenient Google is today. In the last 10 years, search engine 2.0 has evolved to photos. Buyers can easily search for this pair of red heels on Taobao accurately without words. We believe the future of search engine will go beyond one-dimensional keyword or two-dimensional photos into multi-dimensional molecular signature. Search Engine 3.0 allows buyers to search digital fingerprint based on molecular signature, we call them profile print, using our rapid non-destructive analyzer and only 10 grams of sample. Supplier can now upload the profile print and our platform provides the match. Our solution is a search engine that empowers users to match and profile food ingredient based on a common digital standard tailored to each pair of buyer and supplier. The market gap, if you look at the y-axis reliability and access the ease of use, there is a clear need for profile print that is reliable and easy to use at a reasonable cost. Our product, akin to sending physical samples to buyers to ascertain suitability, our suppliers on our platform send the digital fingerprint for buyers to evaluate either using the open AI model on top, the common standard, or private AI model below for tailored standards all without the need for physical samples. Our patented technology, the three patents two has been granted, one with a pending, and they all have international PCT. It combines and harnesses artificial intelligence of the combination of metabolomic signature on the left-hand side of the sample with big data comprising meta-analysis beyond the sample that includes other things such as weather, origin, that strengthen the prediction engine. We monetize our platform via paper report $10 each, mainly targeted at farmers and cooperatives, as well as private subscription at forty to 50000 US dollars per year that's targeted mainly at the bigger companies so with a total accessible market of $15 billion. So what's our traction? We spent a good two years R&D and commercialized right at the peak of the pandemic. Within 20 months of product launch, we saw strong user traction and revenue growth and over 50 paying MNC clients and more than 1,500 users, mainly the growers and the corporates. Our key team is made of experienced professional, average age of 40 years old, not the typical fresh out of school startup. We focus on B2B, exited founders and leading scientists. With total staff strength of 22 based in Singapore and sales offices in Belgium, Japan and China. These are key verticals that we're working on, tea, coffee, cacao, spices, grains, food additives, liquids such as milk, as well as textile. I think I'm just going to quickly go through three case study coffee during the ASEAN Coffee Federation last year. They were not able to do physical tasting. They invited us to be their neutral party at Marina Bay Sands. Over 3,000 participants attended online. Let's take a look at this quick video to see how we transformed the industry. I know I'm going to love this one. It's I like heard this is very good. So much I going on here. So one of the beans from Laos, not well known, scored quite high. They wanted to pop it the intro part. Without roasting, tasting, we are able within seconds to get the profile as well as the final score of that specific bean. Hence giving assurance of the quality of the bean that's been auctioned without human tasting. In fact, today we have more than 200 reports generated over just the last two months that help farmers in Southeast Asia sell based on quality rather than based on just the branding of its origin. 
Tea is another sample that we're helping them to profile their products without tasting. Alternative protein is yet another one. And I think this is the last slide that gives you a client endorsement um, of what we have been working for them over the last few years. Thank you very much. Um, please let me know if you have any questions.